I wonder what comes to mind when you consider the traditional nativity scene. Did you know in this scene it's adapted for a play setting and not everything is necessarily biblically accurate? For example, how many wise men are there? There's three, right? The Bible talks about three gifts that the wise men gave. However, there's no mention of three wise men. We just know that there's more than one of them. So this Christmas, as we prepare to look forward to many of the traditions and things that we do as a family, let's look a little deeper at these gifts. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. Except there's no mention of three wise men. We only know that there's more than two, so most likely a group. It says in Matthew 2.11, And when they come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they'd opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense and myrrh. What's the significance of these gifts? They're not so random. I mean, who has a gold bar lying around to give us a gift? Not many. Gold represents Jesus' connection to God, his godliness. Frankincense is a costly incense to be burnt as a part of worship towards the Lord. And myrrh is a tar-like substance that was used to preserve bodies. Well, that's a strange gift to give to a newborn and his parents. Each gift represented a part of Jesus' life, who he, who he was and what he would accomplish. So if anyone has any doubt that Jesus was meant to die on the cross, that we know that even as a young child, he was offered these gifts. And there's also so much more before he was born. So as we spend time with loved ones, and as we exchange our gifts, let's remember the significance of the three gifts that the wise men gave to Jesus. The Lord has a plan and a purpose for everyone. He knows the beginning and the end, and the potential of every one of us. Do you want to find that potential that can only be accessible through Jesus and the cross? That is the question for you. Do you want to find your potential in Jesus? Thank you.